Happy Vlogmas Day 3. It's time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today's all about the nog. The Almond Breeze nog. Why am I dedicating a few vi a video to almond nog? I'll tell you because we buy this to make certain things and then we have this laying around the house and what are we going to do with it? We don't feel like drinking it. Truth be told, it's pretty good though. Three points for the half cup serving, 70 calories. One gram of protein, 14 grams of carbs, zero fiber, 11 grams of total sugar. So that is the almond nog. What do we do with it? All right, D, you've made overnight oats, which you will see in a couple of weeks, hopefully next week. I made overnight oats with it, but you see I still have a lot of nog in here. What am I gonna do with it? Well, I wanna give you a few ideas. Make a great base for French toast. Yes, it's three points. I'm not gonna lie and say that's not a lot, but it's something decadent and different. So for me, I'm willing to pay three points for decadent and difference and holiday. That's still, three points is nothing. Use two slices of light bread. You have a French toast for probably five or six points. That's not tragic for breakfast. So yeah, definitely as a French toast base. Overnight oats. As your milk. Yes, you will see that coming to a video soon. Overnight oats, what a way to sit there and have breakfast. And what I like about this one is it's not as, like, if you're like me, let's rewind a little bit. I don't really love eggnog. I like it. I tolerate it. It's heavy. It's got a heavy nutmeg. It's thick. It's, it coats my tongue. Not a real, but I do kind of semi like it. If you're like me, then you will love this. This is lighter. It's not as thick. The nutmeg is not as killer. And if you want to add more nutmeg, go right ahead and scrape some in there. But yeah, it's absolutely, we actually all liked it here. It was also the same thing. We all felt that the regular eggnog was a little bit heavy. But this was much, much lighter in taste, texture, and calories. So definitely something to check out in your local store. That's at my local store. Back to recipes. French toast base, overnight oats, or even regular hot oatmeal. If you like hot nog, have hot oatmeal. You could go either way. A smoothie. Make an eggnog smoothie. Like, Pudding. Make eggnog pudding. Put your sugar-free pudding mix in your nog. Now, mind you, I always say when you're comparing almond milk to milk making pudding, you just add less milk to the pudding mix and it will thicken. It will not thicken if you go, if it's two cups of milk, I would not use two cups of almond milk. It's just, it just won't thicken. So you definitely cut back and you'll see the instant pudding. You will see it thickens. You will know how much to put in. I put it in a latte. An eggnog, I think it was chai latte. I don't know. I want to do matcha, but I haven't, so it's chai. An eggnog chai latte. Again, yes, a little bit higher in points than traditional almond milk because you're only getting a half cup for that three points, not a whole cup. I get that. But what I did was I used the half cup and I added a little more almond milk to get a little bit more volume. But you could say grate a little bit more nutmeg, a little more cinnamon, give it a little more flavor if you don't think it has enough flavor. Those are things I've done so far and they've been really, really good. How about ice cream? We're gonna put this in our little My Mug from Dash and see if we can get some eggnog ice cream. Yes, it's gonna be higher than points before you say it, but remember, it is a holiday nog ice cream. So again, I don't mind paying more points for something that's a little bit higher in, you know, it's a little bit, not should I say higher, it's a little bit special. like. You don't get eggnog all year round. You can't buy this all year round. You only can buy it now. So I am willing, you know, to give a little bit of extra points for something as special as this. So yeah, ice cream, pudding, lattes, pancake, pancake mix. That's where I was going, pancake mix. Now, most of the pancake mixes we use call for water. Yes, you're going to, I before you say it, I know, but you're making eggnog pancakes. Shut the front door. Something, again, holiday-ish. Anywhere this milk is called for, you could sub out nog. You know, I've made a couple of mug cakes, but I don't usually have much liquid in there. But if I did, should we try an eggnog donut? I don't know. We'll have to see what's involved in that. We will make an eggnog donut in our mini dash waffle maker. Mini dash donut maker. Eggnog waffles. 
See how these things come out? I didn't plan any of this because I just want to do this off the cuff. Waffles. Egg nog waffles. Dessert waffles. <laughs> Again, it's not going to be as high in points and calories as a traditional one. So think about that when you're complaining that this is six points if you make it all together. Yeah, it is. But what if you made it with regular eggnog? What would the points be then? So you have to, that's what you, how you have to think. Not what it is, what could it be? So and that's where you'd be like, oh, that's not bad. If you're a person that makes like candies, like maybe you could use this somehow in the can. I don't make candy, so I really don't know. But things like that, like I'm all for breakfasty items, like French toast and waffles and pancakes, muffins. We could do maybe make eggnog muffins, mini pancake muffins. I don't know about you, but I love my mini pancakes. I haven't made them in a while. I've been making regular pancakes. That's probably why, because it's quicker. Let's let, let's talk about it. It was quicker. Go lie, it's quicker. But yeah, if you can make little mini, you can have them for all week. Have a couple of little mini ones or make bigger ones. Definitely utilize this to your advantage. I always say, hit Google. Google, what can I do with leftover eggnog? I guarantee she's going to come up with something. And that's where you would utilize this in anything that you would say. But definitely like smoothies and lattes is a good one. And like I said, just use, if you just want to use the, the half cup and then sub add a different milk to save a point or two. Now you could do a whole cup for six points. That's still not bad. Six points and your tea or your coffee is zero. So you're only paying six points and it's pretty, you know, Decadent. So you have to look at it that way. Make like a milkshake if you want to go that way. You could add protein powder to this. Make a protein shake. Progert bowls. You know, add this to protein, like vanilla protein powder so it gets thick and make it into like a little bit of yogurt. And add a little bit of this in there. Make it into a, like an eggnog progert bowl. Things like that. Like there's just, you know, you have to sit there and think, where could I utilize this? Instead of throwing it away because... Oh, well, we made our overnight oats. Now I'm going to do with all this. I don't really want oatmeal again. Definitely. You know, just drink it. There's a fun fact. Just drink a half a cup of eggnog once in a while. You know, put a little cinnamon on top. Put in a fun glass and just feel festive. You know, it, it, you'll, you'll be so happy you purchase. If you like eggnog, you will really like this, I think. I personally think it's just and it's because it's, it's guiltless. I think sometimes when we're having the, the real thing, we're full of a lot of guilt and we can't enjoy it because we're thinking, oh my God, that's that's like 15 points. I'd rather eat. I mean, honestly, I'm not gonna spend 15 points on a drink. I'm not doing it. I wanna eat my points. But you know, five, four, three, I'll spend it on a, on a fancy schmancy drink. Make a mocktail. How about an eggnog teeny? You know, I'm just saying. There are a million ways you could use this. And I think an eggnog teeny sounds really good right now. I tell it to Steve. He loves making mocktails. Well, that's actually a cocktail. But you can make it into a mocktail. But, you know, it's Christmas. You're going to have a little party. Maybe you're having a party at your own house. Make yourself your own eggnog teeny. Rim your glass with a little... Um, you can do honey, you can do agave, and then just a little cinnamon on there, or, or some fun fall or Christmas sprinkles, some frosting maybe, a little, you know, mix this in with your vodka. I don't know. I think it'd be a good thing. It's just, it's fun vehicle. I mean, since you have this, what fun things can you make with it so you don't throw it in the trash? Because I think it only lasts for 10 days once it's opened. Use within 7 to 10 days of opening. So, yeah. We're going to have to use this bad boy up this weekend. But yeah, have fun things. Don't throw it in the trash. There's different, you know, and sometimes you go on their websites. Always check back for a website and get ideas for different things. There's, like I said, Google is your friend. But those are the few ones I wanted to throw out there. Very easy ones that you could sit there and use your eggnog up and then have great, fun holiday treats. Yeah, maybe you can make candy with this. I've never made candy. I don't know. Not a candy person, but I don't know. Like you might like a divinity or something. I don't know. What, I don't know what's involved in all that. I'm not gonna go get it. Let's just cut that part out. Uh, but it's be fun to do that. Like definitely use it as the milk or liquid component of any recipe. 
today. Here's a bonus. Let's make some eggnog ice cream. Kind of hit me and let's do it. So let's get started. Take our one cup of nog and a tablespoon of your favorite sugar-free pudding. I'm just going to use the cheesecake because that's what I have on hand and combine. Should I put rum in this? Combine well and then get your My Mug ready to go. Start your My Mug, pour your mixture right in the spout. Let it go for 20 to 25 minutes been 25 minutes our ice cream is done now remember once you take this off you can't put it back on just to... <laughs> if i could get it off that is <laughs> that, that always comes apart that's the little i think why would this come off <sighs> And then put here a minute. There, come right up. There we go. Look at that. We got some frozen. And I always tell you, take the ice cream right out of this. Do not. Um. It'll continue to freeze, and you don't, you won't be able to get it out after a while. So we're gonna put it right in the bowl. It froze. This is soft serve. Perfect soft serve. Now, if you wanted it hard ice cream, take it out of here, put it in a container, and put it in your freezer, and you will get nice, firm ice cream. But see how it sticks? Because it continues to freeze. That's one of the downsides, but honestly, it's not that bad in my opinion. Let's have a taste. Yeah, you see Bailey, he's chomping at the bit, but he's not getting any. Let me just eat it off the spoon here. Let's just eat this. Wow. That's eggnog ice cream. Mmm. It's really good. It makes a nice ice cream. This whole bowl is six points. Honestly, you could share it, have half for three. That's how I roll here. So that is how you make eggnog ice cream quick and easy. That is it for Vlogmas Day 3. Try to keep it as short as I could. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this video, what you think of Almond Nog. I'd like to hear. And what do you think of this, some of the ideas I had to use up Almond Nog? And if you have some that I didn't think of, let me know that as well in the comment section below. If you are new here, welcome. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with D, where we're dishing ideas, health tips, lifestyle, light and healthy and delicious recipes here for you. So that is it. I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4. And it'll be the challenge video. So I will dish with you later, Gators. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.